this okay <laughs> not again <laughs> He's got, he's got, he's got road fury, fur, fur, road fur, furry, fur, road furry. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Madge? Oh, he just wants to rub against it. <laughs> Let's go into the tear chip cinema. <clears throat> just uh, seeing what's what's available on this uh it's got uh, certain channels muted um though the uh other channels up there is uh are, they're on but they're muted on the dcx uh, lcr lfe there's a little bit there on the front wide but What's going on? But it's, it's very back of the box. It's very faint. Head torch. So I'll go behind the amp <coughs> just to connect the uh, crown architect. Um, just going through because you know, I mean, I'm just using the small JBL Control Five Plus monitors for the uh, front wide. Um, I know ideally they're not in the correct um, where I sort kind of want them to be. Preferably with um, uh, some other JBL uh, 8330 Mark IIs um, placed along somewhere along the side there. Um, but yeah, anyway, so push come to show, I've got to compromise. Um, but it's just in the tone and level of the frequencies, because sort of, they'll sound a little bit kind of harshish. Uh, maybe maybe uh, in a middle range or wherever I see it on the RTA. And then just adjust it, and then it's just trying to sort of like, you know, just trying to blend it as best as best as can. Uh, can't make it exactly um, blend in totally because they're, they're totally different different speaker. It's interesting when I move the laptop like that, because the sound's coming from over there, and it's reflecting onto the um, onto the uh, laptop screen there. And I hear it over on my left ear. <laughs> I know what to look for, what to listen for. But generally, the levels on the uh, the film mix are um, for the uh, looking at the common LCR uh, that's playing. Whether there's left center, right center there that occasionally may play, but uh, those front wide channels were way down there. And I'm thinking, well, if you've got a signal that's up here, and you've got a signal down there. It's just like being on the sideband on the CB radio. These signals are just going to go over the top and over modulate the signal. Um, so you wouldn't even notice it. So I'm just kind of like going through, just getting the levels up a little bit better. Because um, I had some PEQ filters on these and I'm just deactivating all these PEQ and I'll just try again, maybe just put a Q band width in there, widen it out. Um, just make it a little bit soft, you know, sort of thing, you know, not too harsh, it's just trial and error, but nah, that doesn't sound good, that sounds a little bit too, bit of low there, but a bit kind of thing, you know, so it's trial and error to get it, get it balanced, really, I'm not sure if I'll be able to hear this in the video. I'll look out for it. <laughs> uh, just um, go on to the um, Storm Audio's uh, remote. Let's turn that off for a second. Turn the other one on. I'll take these filters off.
Bit of a weirdness with the uh, with the um, passive crossover on, or no, not sorry, not the uh, the uh, the actual tweet because I did a I did a check on it. Um, just mute that. I did a check on it uh, about no week or a couple of no weeks ago. I can't remember when, but I noticed that one of the tweeters uh, was given a very odd smoothness when the microphone was measured close to it and then the uh, then I tried the other one and that was kind of you know but it was going all bumpy a little bit you know dips and peak dip and peak but more or less within the same but I couldn't really tell what was going on uh, could be just a fluke tweeter I've got that's just um, happens to be um, when you know when you they glue them the diaphragm down onto the magnet and then solder the wires on. Um, but, you know, QC checking, uh, JVL, I don't know. <clears throat> That's why, this why diaphragms are so awkward to align on the um, compression drivers. You can't just fit a diaphragm on there, screw it on and, you know, put some sound through it, which most people just put some random music through it and think, oh, it's great, it's working. It's a lot more than that. You've got to do it through test tones, pink noise, um, sine wave tone checking. Oh my good, uh, microphone's got to be up close. You got to check for harmonics. You got to check whether it's making sounds that sound like uh, this sort of thing, like and it's kind of like pinching your nose. It's like where the diaphragm is not um, aligned correctly down to the um, the magnet and um, or the uh, phase phase um, block. Uh, what they call it, phase plug. Um, <clears throat> and it takes bloody hours. It takes a lot of hours to do it to get it right. Um, anyway, so I'm just yeah, I'm just done that up. I'm gonna have another listen. It's like like listening to a silent. Well, it's like watching a silent movie. Okay, so the levels are up a little bit more. Um, you know. Oh, just heard a little bit kind of like a shh coming from the uh, the, uh, the front wide channels like. Wow, that was really exciting. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things going on. And I don't know, I understand why they just put little ch sounds suddenly. But at the moment, it's like a silent movie. <laughs> just waiting for some of this overrated front wide which i think personally is overrated some people like think oh oh wow it's great actually um <laughs> i seem to think back some while that, uh i was kind of dabbling with the idea myself way before um someone else got hold of it and thought oh i know what he's talking about yeah exactly it's like putting a pr uh, pro logic decoder between the um the front uh, right, the right surround, and vice versa over on this side, and occasionally between the front, front, uh, the front and the surround. Right, sometimes you get a signal. Sometimes they're in a mix that's uh, the same sound, sort of more or less. It's a phantom sound, and it's just kind of floats between the, the speakers, and it's kind of like, it's like mm, I find it a little distracting. So you know, I'm doing this sort of thing. You know, you get that comb filter you know and uh so i thought no put a, i never actually did it but in theory it would work because it's looking for a signal that's in phase polarity and you know but most times there might not be anything much going on but there still will be because um um depending on the music mix on the surrounds or such but if there's no content on the on the surround, or the signal is different on the surround, then you don't get anything from the extra channel. It's just that simple. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Whether oh, I hear a little bit now. I hear drums. But I'll 
just play that back a little bit. There's the front wide channels down there. You got this up here. So just gonna get a load of over modding now. Whoever mixed that obviously obviously shouldn't even be near a mixing console because they obviously not got the balance levels right. But it's it's not a big deal. All I do would be uh go into the, the the processor and just turn those levels down. I'll just have to rehearse the movie and then that is literally rehearse it, look at the levels, see what's going on. And I think, okay, I'll take these levels down, this down, because sometimes it's usually the same with the uh, overheads. Um, they may be too weak in level. Um, they're on mute at the moment on the, uh, so I'm just gonna, <coughs> so I'll just back up this scene a little bit. to the uh, storm audios turn on the um, overheads might be a little bit loud there's nothing there at the moment oh just a little bit but they're playing very low level and you get these stupid little sound effects oh in a little bit there now but still the levels on the script on the screen channel um there's hard there's hardly uh, i've not seen much any um left center right center yet and it's it's um it's turned on just haven't heard anything yet or don't have to only have to look at the levels i only have to look at the levels there it's like having a CB radio or, you know, you've got a station, you got the volume turned down. If you've got a bar, what's it thing there, you can see, oh yeah, I can see there's a station and I can see the waveform and I can see it modulating. If it's a steady signal, then it's just some random sort of noise. But really, these levels are so low. So averagely, it's kind of like uh, bringing the levels down. And there's not much going on specifically with the um, the top the top channels they're, they're not really that exciting I'll turn the other channels on the other height channels which are in a very weird positions but regardless you know yeah sometimes you get you get these discrete sounds like Unlike unlike some of these poor lousy up mixes, which I would personally avoid, because you always hear the same sort of music in the overhead, and it's all, you know, it's a it's a cheat, it's a very cheap cheat. It's not like they've gone in there and they're using the stem, the stem tracks for that or the individual tracks, and then create something totally brand new. Not that I care. I just personally don't. I just personally avoid that rubbish now because it's the more things change the more they stay remain the same and I've heard quite a few and they always the same cheap just a cash cow get your money and it's it's a bit of a con bit of a scam really but something that's a brand new film mix here that's you know they couldn't even get the levels right here um Otherwise, you know, just adjust the levels. So now, let's go back to um, 14 minutes, my goodness. <clears throat> I'll just jump that a little bit, get up to a scene action or whatever turn the screen channel on and I'm going to go into the levels on the 
save that there. Go into the Go into the LCR levels. Or the you know, at the moment. Because I'm not seeing any uh, now let's just turn it down. Killing how much level you've got to turn these down by. It's a bit ridiculous. Otherwise, this is you just don't simply hear sound. Well, maybe kind of like this. Maybe you know, maybe a sound editor will come on that. Uh, on the on the uh, maybe a sound editor would come on there or re-recording it and give you a load of bullshit, but then you know you go outside, you listen to sound as it is presented. You can see something happening across the road. Just because you can see it doesn't necessarily mean you can hear it because there's so much tree traffic traffic moving around and it causes a mar it causes an audio frequency masking effect. This is that simple. So if you've got two people having the conversation, you know they're having the conversation, but you can't hear them clearly um, until you get walk over the road, and then you stand in between them, then you hear them kind of like stereo, one on that side, one on this side. But when they're on a quiet night, if they're across the road, yeah, you can hear them, but their voices sound like that until you get near to them, and then their voices sound like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just... Add it, getting the levels turned down, and this guy it says climb aboard. You know, you got this like this character. Climb aboard. Now his voice sounds like it's more echoing uh, within the ca uh, within the canyon. A fake echo, no doubt. Because um, they're, they're, they're probably there on set, and all that's probably made of. Um, it's probably all made of grass. It's all green and you know environmental you know and then they just kind of went in there spray painted it oh my goodness <laughs> you know so it absorbs the sounds and then they had to put the fake echo in if you know what I mean <laughs> they have all found all soundtracks are completely fabricated you only got dialogue or something's there that's only used as a like a guideline a template but if it's good quality sometimes it would be used if it's not then there's not much you know they would use. Um, still adjusting the levels down a bit. Uh, I think maybe minus 17 dB. It's hard to say. Just turn the other fader up a little bit. Still noticing too much sound from the top, at the front. Yeah, that's okay. There, I can hear that sound cutting through. So there's other sounds there on the front, uh, not the front wide channels. They think they're on the uh, the other channels down below. Which would be up on the ceiling, but um, it's kind of an experiment, and it just sounds very uh, unusual here in the sounds moving around. Plus, I've got my blow surround turn on, I think, um, which would be on the other channels, but they're not turned on at the moment. So it's this is a very problematic, you know. You can have a brilliant system, you can have a brilliant system. It's all set up, blah 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 blah. But if you haven't got bar graphic level meters to see what the heck's going on, you think, oh, it sounds too quiet. And yes, you're right. It does, but you can't actually see what the levels are at. Oh, that's a, that's a good sound effect there. Oh, I'm just trying to think where that was again. Yeah, that sound there. It's very opens the uh, that roof thing but 
but I can see I can see the level here on um, one of the height channels there. I think. Let's see which one it's on. Just mute, go in there and mute mute the channel. Is it on those? Let's see if it's on that. Oh yeah. So that's a little bit more or less in the wrong position where I want it. Um, I think it's on the front. No, it's not the back ones. It's those ones there. Uh, front front height ones. <laughs> But, oddly, um, the, which is down here, these JBLs are, I think they're 4312s, I think, they're 4312s, these are. Um, that's where the sound is going at. Now, if I stand down here near the floor, play the scene, reverse it. kind of hear it like there in front of me because the speakers are angled in that way I guess the sound is going in in between uh, partly so down here partly uh, reflecting off the OLED and onto this other JBL TCB sub behind there but when I sit back here this is all about um, you know uh, just play it I'm sat back here so when I'm sat near, I hear it in a different different position. Get a bit further back. And it almost sounds like it's going over that way. Not totally up there, but somewhere along that way, along that plane. Um, if I actually move the speaker uh, or drivers or or something and have some part of the bass part like playing down on those JBLs and then I'd go in there and do a Franken rewire and then <laughs> take some of the smaller uh, um, but it's a bit of a compromise because I like to keep continuity I like to have uh, the same JBL um, 83 um, 8330A's on the ceiling but it's looking for some more and then um, totally uh, redoing the um, the layout in the room which it's not a big deal it's easy to do it just means it takes hours and then um, yeah but uh, otherwise yeah uh, that kind of work it's not say like bouncy bouncy atmos sort of thing it's just I know that the where the speakers are located and the sound is going to be pushing going through that way and it's going to be reflecting if I went uh, behind that OLED and start putting some absorbent material on the back of the OLED and partly over the other JB, then there will be less reflection, I guess, going on. And then I have another listen and think, is it still the same? You know? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, plus, I want to, um, even when, when I um, get the other... Um, so I want all the, the overheads, literally, the height, top, yeah, that's all bullshit. Um, but I think the tops really should be somewhere um, behind the screen because uh, it's just trying to look at things. Um, and if there's stereo mixing, uh, sometimes you get phantom sounds. So it would be a phantom. As far as I remember, I think it's kind of a bit of almost like a bit of a stereo-ish. has got so much wide width in the signal. Um, but when it used to play, if I were to make another uh, what do you call it um crikey it's a bit of a bit of a real pig's thing to sort of like do the bloody make another atmos theater mode and then i'd uh, reconfigure the outputs um by turning off the um those front 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 you know channels back and forward you know turn those off and then the signal then gets folded down into the top channels 
uh, and so that sound which I'm pretty um, associated with hearing usually it's on up there and mostly in the middle or the dog channel I call them dog channels so I've got more precise location on where that sound's located at um, plus when I if you know get everything changed I'll be putting extra decoders on to um, match the signal um, for more precision which is far better than most home theatres that I've seen around even even Dolby Lab's own theatre up in Soho in London or even the dub stage for that matter and that's usually where they mix things but um, most of the time they're throwing Phantom Center up there and some of these remixes like I say some of these bad remixes sometimes I notice that the signal is not kind of stereo on the overhead and it's kind of, it's mono it's music and you think but why is it in mono <laughs> anyway <laughs> 